In many sci-fi and spy movies, you'll see a character gain access to something secret and dangerous by having their eyes biomarkers scanned. But in the real world, iris scanning has been expensive and easy to fool. Dr. Oleg Komogortsev of Texas State University has found a novel way to increase the security of optical scanners while simultaneously bringing their costs down. You're probably aware about the existence of iris recognition technology. Iris is a colored part of the eye, and iris recognition technology recognizes the pattern and identifies a person based on this pattern. Right now, biometric technology is very susceptible to counterfeits. So you can print out the iris on the piece of paper, or you can print an iris pattern on the contact lens, as they did, for example, in the movie Charlie's Angels. And you can enter the system with this information, if you only have the iris recognition device. But with what we are proposing with this technology, because we are using also information about anatomical structures of the eye that are invisible, so it's impossible to take a snapshot, and we're also using the information from the brain of the people, those things are extremely hard to counterfeit. Oleg's system goes beyond a simple iris scan. So here you can see the eyeball, that is controlled by a set of muscles that move the eyeball. So we have two pair of muscles that move the eyeball horizontally and two pair of muscles that move the eye vertically. And one more pair to do the torsional rotation. So what we have devised, we have devised algorithms that are able to extract the properties of the tissues inside of the muscle also properties of the tissues around the muscle and properties of the tissues around the eye globe. Based on those characteristics, we can uniquely identify a person. Dr. Komogortsev's team has not only found a way to make these biometric systems more secure, they've also been working on making them more affordable. What I'm holding in my hands here is a commercial eye tracking unit. It costs approximately $25,000 it consists of two image sensors that concentrate on each eye of the person to get the eye positional information. To start our research, we worked with this unit to find out whether what we are proposing in biometrics is feasible. And we found that we did. So we started an endeavor of doing it with a much less expensive equipment. And we tried our technology with a different setup where we just took a common video camera and put it on this lamp stand. The camera itself cost $20 in contrast to this $25,000 equipment, but essentially it does the same thing. And what made Oleg choose his quest for improving iris scanning security systems? Video games. When I was a PhD student, I was enamored with the World of Warcraft. So as you know, the World of Warcraft came out in 2004, at that time, everybody was super excited. I wrote a research proposal to Blizzard and sent it to the regular support account, never hoping that I get any response from them. But they contacted me back, and what I wrote, by the way, in the proposal that I want disabled people to play World of Warcraft. So that way, let's say if somebody is handicapped or cannot move uh, arms to play the game, they would be able to do it with eye movements. So Blizzard get back to me and they said that they were excited and they basically sent me a beta account. So I played it for one month and then I started realizing my project, so we realized it. Actually the software is freely available uh, from my website and we also published the research papers. For Tech News Daily, I'm Francie Deep.